efficiently, effectively. I call upon the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, the offices of the DCI and the offices of the IG to work with the judiciary so that the corrupt can be firmly, decisively dealt with in the Republic of Kenya and the citizens of the Republic can get their due in the expenditure of public resources. I know that of recent we have seen incidences of our girls, our mothers, our women who have been murdered in cold blood. And let me say this, that the DCI and all the investigative authorities in the Republic of Kenya must stand up to these criminals and we must deal decisively and firmly. And I want to ask us as a society to be careful with strangers, to be careful with people who lure our girls, our women into situations that compromise their security. But we must be on the lookout, all of us as a nation. This is yet another moment. This is yet another beginning. And I am confident that we are going to take Kenya to the next level. Professor Kendiki, as you and all know, there is much to be done to fulfill our commitments and set our nation on the path to prosperity. I expect you to embark on your duties with dispatch and zeal. I wish you success as you begin your service in the high office you have assumed today. May God bless you. May God bless your family. And may God bless our great republic, the nation of Kenya. Asante ni sana. Mungu wa bariki. Na tutasonga mbele pamoja. Asante ni. Naomba sote sasa tusmame wima. Kama ishara ya uzalendo wetu, tumalizie kwa wimbo wataifa. Wimbo wataifa. Basi tusimame mahali tulipo tukimpatia rais nafasi ya kutoka katika starehe zake. Asanteni sana. Tutamruhusu mheshimiwa rais aweze kuondoka na kisha mheshimiwa naibu rais atafuata nyuma wakiandamana pamoja na viongozi wengine. Waroso kwanza viongozi wetu waweze kuondoka. Ambassadors please kindly follow behind the leaders. All our vehicles are on our right. All ambassadors present kindly find your way on our right. That is where your vehicles are parked. As we allow His Excellency and His Entourage to leave, let's also allow ambassadors to follow. All our vehicles are parked on our far right. Waruhosu viongozi wetu, waweze kuondoka.
Alafu kisha wananchi tutapitia mlango wetu wa pale mbele opposite county assembly Asanteni sana wananchi tunapowaruhusu viongozi wetu kuweza kuondoka Wengine wote tutatumia lango lililo nyuma yetu kando ya ofisi ya gavana tukaweza kuondoka tunapowaruhusu wageni wetu kuweza kuondoka All ambassadors kindly follow on your right that is where your vehicles are parked towards the next destination May we allow all ambassadors to please exit through our far right. Your vehicles are parked on that end. All right, uh, 11.54, the function at the KICC is coming to an end. And now we have uh, Deputy President Kithure Kindiki, Professor Abraham Kithure Kindiki, of course, a function that uh, has seen quite a number of people attend a, a, a speech by the, the now Deputy President and also the Head of State. Right now, what you're seeing on your screen, of course, are uh, people just uh, leaving the venue that has been used to swear in the second in command who has been sworn in at exactly 10 uh, uh, it was uh, he took the oath of office at around uh, 10 50 and uh, that was the time that uh, he got sworn in in under two hours this function is over and we have a deputy president in the office of the deputy president kithure kindiki has taken the oath of office at this particular moment professor uh, ogola let me start with you uh, Let's start with this picture, with what we, what you got to hear from Kithure Kindiki first. Yeah, first of all, the if you compare to his, to the former deputy president, mm -hmm. now we can say former, Arigedi Gachagua, the new deputy president wanted to show the opposite mm -hmm. because you you cannot walk the path that made him leave office. He was walking another path, and his message was full of loyalty. Uh, but for me, that didn't move me the most. What mm -hmm. moved me that is a positive thing about the professor, he took time to thank okay. the people he worked with. He took right. time to be grateful to people he worked with. So, All right, uh, so, so, so Prof, I'll cut you short because I want uh, to cross over to David Kagina, who is at the KICC for an update and uh, the latest as far as uh, this swearing in is concerned. David Kagina, we have a new deputy president at the moment. Kithure Kindiki is the second in command. You've been there witnessing the whole event. Bring us up to speed on the latest him achieve the next level in terms of administration and even the government achieving the government agenda. Kithura Kindiki has also uh, mentioned that he is willing and up to task to lighten the burden of the president, the burden carried on the shoulders of the president in delivering his mandate. He has also said that he is not taking it for granted that the president did nominate him uh, to take over from his predecessor after the impeachment process. Remember, Kithure Kindiki was one of the highly contesting people uh, for the post of the deputy president and the run-up to the 2022 general election. And therefore, 1st of November 2024 marks a dream come true from the 20, uh, for the 52-year-old law professor. And in his president, president, in his speech, President William Bruto has mentioned that he was indeed proud to be witnessing the swearing in of his of Kithure Kindiki as his deputy president, knowing, uh, mentioning that he knows him uh, for over two decades as a person who is a dedicated professional, a patriot dedicated to cohesion and unity, peace as well as stability. He has also mentioned that he has watched and observed from a distance as Kithura Kindiki demonstrated exceptional dedication. He has also mentioned in his deputy, his now deputy, as someone who is highly qualified and an outstanding scholar. He has also mentioned him as someone who is humble, selfless and reiterating again on the experience that Kindiki has. He has also mentioned and directed his deputy like he had just mentioned in his speech that he indeed ought to serve Kenya as a whole, throwing jabs at the former deputy Rigadi Gashagwa, who among other grounds was impeached for sidelining other parts of the country's 
in what was termed as Murima. And the president did not hold back from mentioning that and reiterating over and over again, reminding elected leaders all the way from members of the county assembly to the members of parliament to other leaders within the uh, leadership public service that indeed their role is to serve the public regardless of where they're from. The president was categorically mentioning that they should not be discriminated whether they come from the sides of the ocean, whether they come from the sides of the lake, or whether they come from the mountain. Remember, Rigadi Gashago was known for the phrase Murima, which led, which are a part of what was presented in parliament as evidence as to why he ought to be impeached. The president was also adamant to mention that that uh, he should uh, leaders who take on the elective post and also public service as well as uh, to his deputy Kidure Kindiki that he is confident that Kidure Kindiki will deliver what he says he has been missing for the last two years. The president appeared to be complaining that for the past two years he was left to be the solo voice championing for the rights and not just rights but also the agenda of his government and now he says what he has been missing for the two years he is confident that Kidure Kindiki who he has mentioned also as an eloquent man will be able to speak into and ensure that they have an extra voice speaking on what uh, the government ought to deliver remember the president has also highlighted the issues of uh, people uh, the, the cases of loss of lives that we've been witnessing recently in the country, calling on the DCI to take action and ensure that those culpable are brought to book. The conversations on the course of politics after this uh, day's event will continue to unfold over time. And even as we continue to seek the reactions from the public and the leaders who are present in here. You know, they are bringing us up to speed with what has been happening at the KICC, the venue where we've witnessed the swearing in of Kithure Kindiki, who is now the second in command. Of course, uh, now his office will be at Harambe Annex, where Deputy President Rigadi Geshagwa impeached now. Uh, used uh, to carry out the functions of the office of the deputy president. That now that office now goes to Kiture Kindiki, who's just been sworn in. Now he made his way to the KICC at around 9:50. Uh, by the time he was making his way to the dais, it was around, around 10:15. Uh, there to you know go now start taking the oath of office. And of course uh, there were two oaths that were actually administered today. And the one one was uh, the uh, allegiance oath, and uh, another one was the oath to uh, that uh, you know commit to execute functions according to the office of the deputy president I believe and uh, you see I, I, I want to, to, to bring uh, you to this uh, these two oaths why are they important to have all these two uh, let me start with you the, let, let's start with the allegiance the oaths of office mm -hmm. are clearly stipulated in the Constitution it is not uh, uh, one someone didn't wake up today and uh, formulate some uh, some words and uh, in the name of a uh, of an oath. Mm -hmm. It is stip clearly stipulated the two oaths that uh, should be taken by the uh, the incoming deputy president. Okay. E equally, if it was a president who was still uh, uh, taking an oath. They are clearly stipulated. So it is constitutional. It is it, it is not by whim. Mm -hmm. It is clearly stipulated by the constitution mm -hmm. because. Uh, when he takes oath, it's 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 a legal it's a, it's a legal uh, process. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was admitted to the bar, I took an oath mm -hmm. to uphold the constitution, mm -hmm. and that oath that is what now uh, uh, promulgated me or mm -hmm. uh, elevated me from just a lawyer mm -hmm. into an advocate. Of the okay, so, so, so what the, the, that's the, what the, the two of them. That's the, the, the same scenario that has happened. Okay, the, the two the, this different. What what is the difference between the first one and the second one? Let me explain it to you. Yeah. If you want to understand it, understand how Gachaga was impeached. He was giving allegiance to Murima, mm -hmm. yet he was supposed to give the allegiance to the Constitution and people of Kenya. Yes. So the allegiance is about to whose interest do you, do you work? Whom do you work for? That's allegiance. Mm -hmm. And the one for due execution, how do you do it, isn't it? What are the parameters? Like he said, 
I will do this function according to the constitution mm -hmm. of Kenya. Mm -hmm. I will also be there like deputy and serve the functions stipulated by the constitution of Kenya, isn't it? So help me God. So you see that the second one is how, that's why help me God is mentioned on the second, due execution of office. Okay. The first one is allegiance. So these two things were also in Agachaga's impeachment. One, he was not serving his function as deputy president that mm -hmm. was accused. Mm -hmm. Another one was that his allegiance was to part of the nation, okay. not to the whole country. And that's why separation of these things are very important. And uh, if you look at old traditions, the same thing, like even if you are doing an author wedding, you also give allegiance to your wife. But also marriage is a institutional thing. So also you must act according to the Bible if you are a Christian, but also if you're a Muslim, also you have to do it according to Quran. Mm -hmm. If you're a Buddhist, the same way. Mm. All right, okay, now. You know, now, just let me add. Mm. You know, the Constitution says that you should uh, pledge your alleg allegiance to the Constitution. Mm -hmm. After that, you take another oath of office. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it doesn't give the wordings. It says, Parliament shall now enact a law that will support this. It's actually in Article 141 mm -hmm. in the assumption on, of office. That pal 